Andy Lembecha. Very good morning to you, sir, and welcome. A very good morning to you, Elvis, and, and to the viewers. First and foremost, can you tell us what is the significance of the Angolan president, João Lorenco, to South Africa, that visit today? Elvis, this is a very important visit by President João Lorenzo. You will remember that this is a newly elected president. Actually, this is his first state visit to South Africa, indeed, underscoring the importance of the relations between these two countries. In fact, I actually am reminded that when President Zuma was inaugurated, his first state visit was to Angola. So you can see this is a special relationship. There have been a lot of uh, interactions between these countries and we expect uh, those relations to be strengthened today with a number of agreements that will be signed Elvis. But of course, um, I am with the presidential spokesperson, uh, Dr. Bongani Mulunga, who will uh, tell us more about this visit because it's quite uh, important. I understand that uh, more than 10 ministers, uh, some are saying as high as 18 uh, from Angola are coming. Um, quite significant, Doctor. Yes, I mean, this is the most important visit, I mean, in a sense. As we have said, this is the first foreign visit by President Lorenzo to any country. I mean, so he has decided to come to South Africa to underscore our strong bilateral relations. And so it's a very important visit. There are a number of agreements that are going to be signed. I mean, in the first instance, the bilateral relationship between the two countries is going to be elevated to be a binational commission where heads of state every year are going to meet to check the progress on the bilateral agreements that have been signed between the two countries. But I think as Africans are going to be happy, those who travel between the two countries, that there they, 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 they would be a waiver on the visa requirement. I mean, you know, it's very difficult to travel, for instance, to Luanda. And so pretty soon, we won't need a visa if you're a South African to travel to Angola. It's one of the agreements that are going to be signed. But there are many other agreements that are going to be signed. Indeed, that does show that this is a very important uh, visit. Uh, we have seen actually these two presidents uh, uh, spending a bit of time together. President Zuma was there uh, at his inauguration and uh, as recently as about two days ago two days they ago. were together and yeah. they were supposed to undertake a mission Commission. which they never did. Yes. But uh, there does seem to be, there does seem to be this special relationship as well between them. Yes, there is indeed a special relationship between uh, the two of them. You, you should remember before uh, President uh, Lorenzo became president, he was the Minister of Defense. Uh, uh, president Dos Santos used to send him as a special envoy to President Zuma, so they know each other very well. I mean, you saw when President Zuma two days ago was in Angola, they are very close and, and, and cordial, and so it's a very important uh, visit between the, the, the two countries. And one of the issues that they are going to be focusing on today is strengthening especially economic relations between the two countries. South Africa is Angola's largest trading partner and so you can imagine we have a number of South African companies that are in, in, in Angola and so one of the issues that they will be discussing is strengthening those economic relations. There's going to be a business forum. He has brought a large delegation not only of Angolan ministers but of Angolan business uh, persons and so it's a very important historic visit that we have today. One of the things, Doctor, uh, people from South Africa have been complaining about was that doing business in Angola is very, very difficult because of the high cost of doing business there. Yeah. Um, I understand that uh, in the delegation there is also the governor of their reserve bank. So is that perhaps to make uh, some of the transaction easier or those uh, negotiations to enable South Africans really who want to invest in Angola? Yes, indeed. I mean, as I have said, uh, making sure that doing business between the two countries is easier, is on the top of the agenda between the two heads of state. It's one of the issues that they will be discussing. I mean, we are quite aware that South African companies that are based in Angola have uh, complained a bit. I mean, that sometimes it is difficult to repatriate the money from Angola to South Africa because of the foreign currency restrictions is one of the issues 
issues that the two heads of state will discuss. I mean, and it is also the reason why President Lorenzo has brought a large, perhaps one of the largest delegations by the head of state to bring on a state visit. I mean, we have had to change venues today to accommodate the large delegation that he has brought. It just shows how seriously he takes the state visit and how seriously President Jacob Zuma is taking the visit by President Lorenzo. Thank you very much, Doctor. Thank you. So that was uh, the presidential uh, spokesperson, Dr. Bongani Ngolunga, really giving us an insight into this important state visit by the president of Angola. Uh, remember, he is, this is his first state visit after being inaugurated. And of course, uh, the ministers have started arriving. I've seen uh, our minister of uh, international relations, Minister Maite Nguana Mashaban, and quite a number of them. I actually earlier on saw Minister uh, Natim Tetwa. So you can see uh, this visit is about to get underway and indeed that large number of ministers uh, from Angola also have made their way here. John Dile Mbeja, our SABC presidential correspondent uh, on the ground there will go there live a little bit later so you have to stay tuned. Ma, let's now go